Good morning, Aussie Nation. Sorry, that other video I was doing kind of... My fingers decided to get in the way, and so it cut it out. But I did promise you guys I would show you the rental car. Um, I'm probably not going to go back outside for a while, so I can do a part two of this if you want. Um, but, yeah, my husband's in the kitchen cleaning up, making uh, breakfast. So I'm going to have to probably help do some cleaning. I'm still sore, so anything I do has to be kind of light. So, um, you know, but I will show you from inside the house, the car, the rental car. I really like it though, because you might look at getting one of those possibly in black and chrome and all that. It's a 2019. So, but here you go. There's the car through our dirty window. I'll put it close to the glass. So you guys can see kind of, it's a Dodge Journey. Um, Crossroads, I think it is. Crossover, whatever. But, um, it's really nice inside. We both like it. Me and my husband do. Um, we might see about seeing what other colors they have. But I do like the black. I mean, I hate black on a car anyways because it just gets a lot hotter. But I like this car. And it would be fun for traveling. It rides pretty well. And it doesn't take much to put on when you... On most cars, you have to, like, really push the gas pedal to the floor to get it to do anything. And that's what our Ford would do. Um, but, yeah. But this one, actually, you know, you just lightly push on the gas pedal and it just goes. It's, like, almost like the RT version, but it's not. Which I wish I had, which I could possibly try to get. Just our entrance would skyrocket, probably, because it's a more of a sporty faster car but this is a v6 which i like and it also has light a lot of light up things it has a touchable touchscreen in the car um i haven't seen any uh navigation system in it which we'd have to use a gps in it so i just have to get my husband probably not a gps if we got one of these cars um but yeah, this is our rental. It is not officially ours. I wish it was. It rides really nicely. It gets around really good. Gas mileage is probably a lot better than it is in Ford. Not to dish on Ford. I have driven Fords for all my life since I've been driving. Since I was 18. So almost the last six years, possibly, I think it would be. I'm about 25. I'll be 26 next year. Um, so, yeah, but we do like this car. It does have where you can turn the lights on, the switch to automatic, which is nice because you don't have to mess with those while you're driving. Um, but they, it has a little sensor in the window that, uh, tells if it's when it's dark or when it's daytime, which lights it should turn it on, which is quite helpful. So you're not blinding somebody in the middle of the day. Um... But yeah, it does have a lot of cool features. Um, this might be the basic. I don't know. It could have sport mode. But, I mean, for a basic car, this might be a little less than the other ones. But it is nice. It almost looks like a minivan. Um, it's not... Um, I won't drive minivans. I just, I can't stand them. I've driven them, and I just, I don't feel comfortable in them. It feels like this big school bus I'm driving around for a bunch of people, and I just don't like that feeling. I don't like, you know, if I'm going to drive someone around, I'm going to drive them around in style and comfort and just, you know, something that's gas efficient and, you know, just, that's what I like to do. Um, and also, too, if I decide I want to go clean for someone, I'd like to have a car that I can put my cleaning stuff in and go clean for someone at their house or something or their carpets. You know, it's just kind of the luck of stuff. But I'm going to have to go clean someone's carpet here pretty soon um, for a family member. 
which if you guys would like me vlogging that, um, I might do it on a day my husband's home so that he can vlog it and get you guys a good visual of what, how good our thing, our vacuum works. Cause I did do a video on that a while back. You guys probably saw it. Um, go and watch it. It cleans very well. We also have a little handheld. Um, we might be getting some other vacuum stuff to clean with. I don't know yet. Sorry, my cat is trying to be in the video, guys. My cat, Misty. We both love her. She just tries to be exploring. She's very an energized kitty. We do put her to bed at night. That way she gets sleep and can wake up and have energy and play and be happy. So, yeah. But for now, back on the subject of the car. That's a rental car. We do like it. It does have a key fob and stuff. So, we're going to possibly um, look at these cars, possibly, into buying one. If insurance lets us know or if they're going to fix our car. I don't know yet. We might hear today or tomorrow. Hopefully they've done something with it because I'm tired of insurances or whatever taking forever to do things. So, we get back from today. Let you know and there might be possibly one of these cars in the video. Because that would make us really happy. Or we're looking at a Ford, 2019 Ford Explorer. That's black. But it has a really nice interior. This has leather seats. Um, these might be real leather. So these would have to be conditioned constantly. Um, but yeah. Other than that. I mean. You know. The only thing is in this car. The back seats are not like bucket seats. If you guys know what I mean. So it's kind of. You're sitting more up higher but other than that i mean the driver's seat's pretty comfortable especially for someone in pain like me who's had jaw pain back pain neck pain <coughs> and everything it's just really comfortable to ride in like the ford escape i'd be exhausted after riding in it because it's just i don't know i just could go around this thing i'm like i can relax a little bit and stuff hey i was trying to do a video over here Misty, stop. But yeah, sorry, this is an extra long, kind of a long video. Um, If we go out at all today or outside, I will do a walk out round. And it does have LED lights in back. I, sorry, I forgot that. But I will do a walk around and show you guys kind of more of what the car looks like. But yeah. I'll have to come up the license plates because you guys don't need to know where the car is from and stuff. But if you guys, you know, have a small family or you want kind of a car that's kind of affordable, I think this is on one of the more affordable ones. Um, it is a pretty nice car, pretty comfortable. So we'll let you know. We'll definitely surprise you. I don't know that we might have get this one. We might get the other one. Stay tuned for that, and we'll let you guys go. Thanks. Have a great day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and we're out.